Hello everyone, this is LEGO Toby, and today I will be doing a LEGO set review on the LEGO Batman The Dark Knight Trilogy, Batmobile, Bat Tumbler, Scarecrow Showdown. The set number for this LEGO set is 76239, and this set only includes two minifigs, has 422 pieces, and was, and was released in August of last year in 2021. And this is the last LEGO set. I'm pretty much going to do a LEGO set review this month in October of 2022. So I chose this LEGO set because it includes Scarecrow right over here. And many people tend to associate Halloween with Scarecrows, right? Well, that's not really what I'm about to talk about first, so no. What I'm about to talk about first is actually this Batman minifigure, which is technically exclusive to the set, though. But let's take a look at his accessories first, which we get a pretty, uh, pretty unoriginal bat, uh, uh, battering piece, which, I mean, we've had this piece since, like, we every Batman minifig has had this piece since the original 2006 Batman minifig. And we also have this Scrapple Gun build as well, which is, you know, it's fine for what it is, I'd say. But there's nothing that interesting aside from, like, taking the Scrapple piece out of it. Like, there's nothing interesting about this build itself. So, that's pretty much all the accessories that I have to say about this minifig. And, uh, you, and this minifig only has a couple real exclusive prints to him. This torso print, which, this is what his back torso print looks like, by the way. Yeah, nice and detailed for what it is, in my opinion. And, uh, this face print, but we'll get into that later, though. Aside from that, everything else you can easily get through other variants of Batman, just a boring black leg pieces... The cowl is nothing new either, but I do think it fits this version of Batman, though. And also, uh, we get a generic uh, Batman face print. Like, if you see my last review, which is, which was also a Batman set, then, yeah, nothing new or interesting there. However, though, we also get an exclusive face print for Bruce Wayne, or Nightmare Batman, as it's called. Um, yeah, and it, it, it's really cool, really detailed, and just put it on... And just look at that. That is so awesome, in my opinion. That looks great in general. And, yeah, and, again, is the only other really exclusive part to this LEGO set. But aside from that, though, there's nothing else to be said about this minifigure. So, with that being said, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the real reason why I decided to review this set this time around for the Scarecrow minifigure. And his main accessory is a generic stud shooter, which, yeah, does this. There's nothing interesting about the stud shooter, and if I'm not mistaken, this is actually one of the last times we get this particular stud shooter design. So... Yeah, not interesting at all. But aside from that, though, as for the Scarecrow minifigure himself, he has decent torso and head printing that are also exclusive to this LEGO set, and as well as back torso and head printing as well, which looks pretty nice. And yeah, it's a fine minifig and a little creepy for what he is as well, but I don't have much to say about this minifig aside from that. So now let's take a look at the real star of the show, the Tumblr itself. And uh, this is what it looks like from the side, and both sides are pretty much the same if you think about it. And both sides also include the same sticker, this one here and this one there. Okay, stickers. Sorry, my bad. Um, and uh, yeah, again, same stickers. And this is what the front looks like, which has another sticker, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. And here's what the back looks like, which... Personally, I am not the biggest fan of what the back looks like. I mean, it's still pretty decent looking for what it is, but it, there are some areas that feel a little incomplete. Well, mainly this area right over here, that feels a little incomplete for what it is, and these flaps just do not look the best at all, honestly. Especially in what is otherwise a really great and really detailed build that just uses a ton of nice part usage and just... Makes what is, pro what is hands down the best minifig scale bat tumbler we've ever gotten from Lego. And sadly, probably ever will get since it doesn't seem like Lego will be continuing the DC theme much longer. With that being said, though, yeah, that's pretty much just the exterior of the build. Now let's take a look at the interior. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we get to the interior, I forgot one thing. And the front here, there's a couple of generic stud shooters. Yeah, another pair of stud shooters. How original, and you can just press on this right here, and 
that one shot really, really, really far. And, uh, yeah, for some reason, they also decide to just, like, stack a couple studs on each other, which is so weird in my opinion. But, like, I don't know why. I guess it's so that way it can be a little easier for you to load them in. Aside from that, I don't know why there would be any other reason to do so. Like, let me just try and load it in. Okay, yeah, it's a little more difficult. So, okay, yeah, I can kind of understand why now, but still... Really unoriginal of a play feature, and sadly, it's like the only real play feature that the set has, unfortunately. But with that being said, though, let's take a look at the interior of this model, which is pretty cool, I'd say. So here is what the interior... Okay, I think I need to grab my... pick my phone up. So here's what the interior looks like. Um, and uh, yes, that's a little bit of dog hair right there, unfortunately. Um, pretty much what happens if you own a dog, but... Yeah, nice interior overall, and uh, turning the vehicle around, um, trying to get a bit of a better peek inside, you'll notice that there are a couple stickers inside of there, and even like that represent like, oh, uh, that represent like control paddles, and there's even this thing right here, which is like the steering wheel, I guess, let me just try and, uh, like, it's really difficult to try and like, get in here, okay, I'm just gonna remove this I'm just going to go ahead and just remove this hatch part entirely just to get a more easier view with what's inside of this vehicle. Um, but, okay, yeah, this is probably going to, okay, there we go. Not perfect, but still. So with here, you can naturally grab your Batman minifigure and just, well, do what you'd expect to do in a bat tumbler like this. Just uh, set them down right in there. Just... There we go. Yeah, and there's enough space for another minifig to sit right there as well. So that's pretty nice. And also, um, over here, uh, if you look behind Batman's cape, there's actually a clip. And I'm just going to put this hatch build back on there because, yeah. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, there's, okay, trying to put Batman's cape down. Yes, there is a clip right there, and that's actually to hold a Batarang. And that's a pretty nice, that's a pretty nice touch, I'd say. But again, nothing else interesting aside from that. That's pretty much all I have to say about this Bat Tumbler build itself. So now let's literally move this vehicle aside and take a look at the instructions booklet, which aside from the typical win advertisement with a pirate on the back that we've all seen at least a million times, uh, yeah, the only real advertisement this set has is Rebuild the World, which is a pretty rare advertisement, surprisingly, but, yeah, aside from that, there's no real other advertisements since the set was released in 2021, in a year where there weren't real many retail DC sets, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I gotta say about this set. And, what do I think of this set? Well, I think it's great. I really do, personally. It's pretty accurate to the movie Batman Begins, as far as I can tell. And the Bat Tumbler looks great. This is, in my opinion, the best minifig scale Bat Tumbler we have ever gotten from LEGO. But with that being said, though, there are some flaws that this set has to offer, in my opinion, though. It, mainly with the back area, and also the fact that you only really get two minifigs in this set as well. I mean, both minifigs have exclusive pieces but I don't think it entirely warrants $40, despite the fair piece of part value. It's still a Lego set I personally highly recommend at $40, and I personally give this set a 4-star rating, maybe 3.5 stars. Either way, one of those ratings will work, I'd say. And overall, yeah, I can easily recommend this set, and if anything, this is honestly, in my opinion... The best Lego Batman set from last year in 2021 in general. And if you don't have this set already and you're a huge fan of Batman somehow, then get this set. Because as of recording this video, a lot like with the last, quite a bit of the last few Lego sets I've uh, decided to review, this set is not going to stay on store shelves for much longer. So please, please get this set while it's still around. But either way... This is my personal review of this Lego set. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.